Okay guys, so the Grand Sport Corvette is gonna go back to classic speed. We're gonna fix the radiator, install a power steering pump. So hopefully this will be back in the next month or so. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Angie Mead King and in today's episode, we are gonna be building my F430. Now this F430 is very special to me because it is a six-speed gated manual. So let's get straight into this. There's not gonna be much talking for this whole build. We're just gonna montage everything unless we run into trouble. So helping me today will be Norman and hopefully we can bang this project within the next few days. So let's get straight into it. So our makeshift lug nuts have arrived and we're gonna test them out. Just came back from our trip. We're finally moving the car. Just finished installing the lug bolts. Ended up cutting some more of the metal. So now I'm just gonna do a short test. When I'm doing a full turn, the wheel sort of just rubs this whole section. So I'm gonna remove the fender and then just trim all that off.
Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. It is New Year today and we are headed down to Manila. We are going to be bringing the F430 down but that's going to go onto a trailer because the air suspension is leaking. I left it overnight and the car just settled down. I did install the roof box on the car and it looks so good with the setup of the car. So based on the Instagram poll that we ran, we're probably going to go with the grey first. We're going to paint the body kit and maybe later on when I get bored of the grey, then we'll wrap it. This is the roof box on the car. It looks so good. But it does make the car practical. You can fit, I think, two golf bags in here. This is what this car is all about. Nice gated manual six-speed. I gotta fix the wiring for the head unit because the when they fix the rest of the car, they actually didn't wire it in properly. Huge shout out to Camelto for coming on a holiday. The battery for the 997 was dead, completely dead. So just in case you guys didn't know that there is a positive port in the fuse box right here on the lower driver's side, which will allow you to open the bonnet so that you can jump start the car. Because yeah, that wasn't so cool. Tow truck went ahead already and we're just going to meet them there. I'm going to put the cam down so we can finish packing up. Beautiful day for a drive today. The traffic is nice and light and I'm with my rider die. What's up rider die? Honey, wasn't ready for that. <laughs> We're going to pass the tow truck and see that in Manila. It's still there after two hours, so looks like we're good. Car is dirty, but it looks good. Gotta make sure I don't stack the cables. We've been rubbing right here, so this has to be pounded out a little. And I'm scared to snag these cables, but we're gonna do a quick road test now. Just checking our tire pressure. to stop by Ferrari and get an obligatory photo. Okay, get out of here. That's the new ride height now. We stopped by somewhere here in Salcedo. Joey's gonna get a donut, but looking and studying at the ride height, I don't know if I wanna rake the rear up a little more or is this okay already? Here's another angle. This is our Fitment app and that's our pressure settings right now. We currently don't have the uh, E-level sensor is working, that's why we're going to bring it to Kyle, but this is what you press when you want to drop the car. And then we press number two. So far, we're pretty happy. The wheels haven't fallen off, the roof box hasn't fallen off, so I think we did a pretty decent job with the F430. The roof panel is caving in, so that needs to be done. The window switch on the passenger side is acting up. The radio has no left balance and 
some of the functions are not working like the reverse camera so stuff to check for sure and then lots of detailing we have a bit of a mold situation from the farm slow down to first gear hold on Drop down. Kyle is here. Hi guys. Kyle's helping us out with this project. Kyle needs to install the level sensors for the system and he's going to upgrade our board. Yeah, actually going to show you that later. Uh, the board's going to go V3 on the board. Latest yeah. update. So Kyle also, also changed the bag from a sleeve bag into this uh, very unique slim twin bellow bag. For a more compliant ride. Super, it rides so comfy. So this is our main issue over here. Yep, Kyle's lighting it up for us and we're rubbing majorly. So we got to find out also what are the other things we're rubbing on so Norman can clear it. After that, we're going to send the car to get painted first and then we'll do the brakes last. Guys, that's what it looks like so far. We've pounded it so much. So hopefully everything's gonna be good and we have some clearance. Okay guys, we ended up leaving the car already. Kyle and the team are gonna finish the car. So we're gonna do the radio, the fender lining, obviously the rubbing areas, the air suspension, the version 3 upgrade that Kyle was saying for the board. Check for the leaks also. And then after that, we're gonna bring the car to classic speed to get painted. And then after that, it'll go to Ferrari for the interior, detailing, and the carbon ceramic bricks. So hopefully in a month, the car will be ready. I don't know. We'll see how, obviously, um, we're going to have another lockdown happening because of all the high numbers. But hopefully everything will be okay.